What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Remnant from the Ashes video here for you guys on the channel. So, we're basically picking up right where we left off. Uh, we, I literally just walked right across from where we uh, ended the last video and I come across this crystal that you see right here next to me. And right next to it, at the other side of this tree, there's another fog wall. So, I'm pretty sure there's going to be another boss on the other side of that. So, we're going to find out exactly what that is. And depending on what happens then, we're going to go back to War 13 and find out what we got from the last boss and this boss. So, if you're excited for this video though, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. Alright. So, first things first, let's go ahead and go in here. The Crimson Hold. Um, okay, I've, I know who it is, is. This is one of the bosses I fought uh, before the file got corrupted. This guy's probably one of the better bosses in this DLC, in my opinion. Design-wise. He is so cool. Let's go. Get away from me. Ow, he hit me. Run. Let's go. Oh no, he's gonna destroy one of my things. Ow, ow, ow. Run away! Let's go! Got him! Your Dunskis, bro! Oh god! That was close! Oh snap! Say later, homeboy! Cause you're dead! I don't know who I'm gonna kill, but somebody's gonna die right now. Haha! <laughs> so I killed the rodent. Nice. If you say so. Run! Be nice, damn it! Ow. Let's go. I should have. Let's go. You're done! This boss is a lot of fun. I really enjoy this boss. So, we didn't get anything out of it because we've already fought him. And I technically I fought him twice already, so I got both alternate, you know, weapons from him. So, uh, there's nothing here. So let's go all the way back to War 13. And this time around we'll find out what we got from the last boss because I totally forgot. I had mentioned it in the last video, like going up to the, the crystal. That I was going to go to War 13 and I'll show you exactly what I got. But once I got there, I realized <laughs> that I did the outro and I totally forgot to go to War 13. So let's go to War 13 this time around. Find out what we got in the last video. Or with the last boss. What's the name? Uh, Ikro the Ice Conjurer or something like that. Hopefully it's another weapon. I like weapons. The only thing about it is I don't have any more Simulacra. Uh, because in the corrupted file, I, I used it all up upgrading weapons. I had like three of them. Or something like that. Two or three. And I ended up uh, using them both. So that sucks. Let's see what we get this time around though. Uh, let's trade. Blizzard. Uh, cast a storm cloud that rains icicles as it travels forward. 
up to uh, uh, up to 30 meters. Icicles deal 30 frost damage each and apply frost damage uh, frostbite to enemies within two meters. Cool. Yeah, good. So let's go back and I'll show you some of the other things I found uh, in that in the corrupted file. Oh god. I was getting some frame drops. All right, so one thing I got is these two things. All right, so this I got it from a boss. I think it was from that rodent. One of the, one of the ways to kill him. I, uh, if I remember correctly, I killed the rodent first. No, no, I killed the big rat guy first and the rodent. I don't remember. If you kill one, either the rodent or the 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 beast master, if you will, uh, you get this weapon. It's basically just here. I'll put it on. It's a melee weapon. It's actually a really cool one in my opinion. I really really dig this one uh, But I'm never gonna use it of course and then this uh, you I found it basically just running around the wild and Just came across this thing. This thing is really cool because it deals frostbite damage and it stacks and the charge attack does two Stacks per hit that's actually really cool and I think it looks pretty freaking awesome as it is as well um Something uh, well, let me put this back on all right, so there's that also I got this weapon Which it is seriously badass dude. I even upgraded it to the max too uh, But the projectiles have like travel to, uh, time or whatever So it's a slow projectile and kind of it's hard for me to use even though it's a superior weapon as far as DPS and damage uh, To the one that I'm using now that travel time bullet travel time sucks for me, but it's such a cool weapon check this out Tell me that's not cool. Not only that, but it also has this right here. Tell me that's not badass. I like that at all, a, a lot actually. But look, check it out. Uh, it does, oh wait, where's it at? Oh, right here. More damage and more RPS than this, but the one that I'm using right now has 80 magazine, this has 32. So it's good, but Another downfall though, even though the uh, mod power is pretty cool, it's not removable. And that's kind of a disappointment for me. I don't really like that because I like customizability with my weapons. So I think that's why the Chicago Typewriter is still probably my go-to weapon uh, compared to anything else. Uh, let me see if I got anything else though. Hold on. Did, well, of course I got the machine pistol. Did I get any other pistol though? I don't think I did. No, let me see if I got any other rifle. No, it doesn't appear. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something I did get, though. I did get a few traits. So, I got... Well, let's throw this all here. Uh, I got flesh, whatever. Caster. I got wisdom. I think I got that in a video, though. So, I, I don't think you guys missed out on that one. Armor piercer this one seems like a really good thing to do But first I want to do my mod power since that's my mod. I'm, I'm a mod build literally hard charger I'm probably not gonna be using as much, but still it, it's a really cool perk for people of course that are uh, that are uh, Mod that are uh, melee builds, you know what I mean? So as far as mod powers, I did get a few uh, This one obviously you guys saw me unlock right now. Uh, I got this one from obviously the the boss that you guys actually seen me uh, do uh, a little while ago now at this point uh, where is it at? oh here it goes this one too I got from a previous boss that on the file that got corrupted uh, it does uh, throws an ice spear that deals 172.5 frost damage within three and a half meters and applies three stacks of frostbite direct hits apply the frozen effects that is pretty cool there is another one though that i got uh let me see this one no that's not it uh did i get another one um i don't know maybe not so that's pretty much everything guys um i, I want to say it again dude i know it's kind of disappointing that I had to go through all of this again in that one video that went got corrupted man it I had so much done in that 
so much exploring. It was actually a pretty good let's play, dude. But the whole file got corrupted, and that sucks. But it is what it is, guys. I, again, I'm gonna say it again. Like, I hope you guys forgive me for that. But I don't want to do the whole thing all over again. I just kind of want to get to the bosses and call it a day, you know? So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a huge, huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.